Aloha! Welcome to part two of Mega Man! And now we're gonna go tackle Elec Man! And Elec Man is a robot originally created to control the power voltage in an electric power plant. A good point? He has responsibility. That's always nice. He's responsible. You can't go wrong with that. A bad point? He's twisted. Maybe he's like Tim Burton. Maybe they mean that. Maybe he's just really eccentric and weird. <laughs> Maybe he likes Twilight, I don't know. But, uh, he likes playing guitar. Electric guitar, I bet, right? Am I right? You see what I did there? I don't know. And he dislikes rubber products. Because rubber d conducts electricity, you see, and he wouldn't like that. Because it zaps all of his energy. I don't know why I'm hopped up on something when I'm doing the classic Mega Man. I haven't done a classic Mega Man game in a long time, and I love the music, I love it. I love the 8-bit schoolness of it. I love that I don't have to read out lots of dialogue like I do in the Zero series. <laughs> it's just good, arcadey fun, you know? We didn't have to worry about the Cyber Elves, and Sigma Virus, and all this bullshit. We just played Mega Man and we enjoyed it. Nevertheless, Elect Man stage is a one big vertical tower. It's very hard. Um, electric beams come out of the walls. You have to w climb the ladders in a, you know, watching out for that. There are a lot of green enemies who pop up from the bottom and top of the screen, and they have lightning bolts they shoot that are really hard to dodge. And uh, you have to shoot them really quickly before they shoot you. You know, as soon as they come on screen, shoot the fuck out of them. And there is a power-up for Mega Man that you can only get with the Guts Man ability, or Elect Man's, but we're fighting Elect Man, so we clearly don't have it. It's the Magnet Beam! The Magnet Beam creates a platform that Mega Man can climb up. The longer you hold the button, the longer the platform will be. However, the Magnet Beam does not stay in the air forever, so if you create a long platform, don't expect it to uh, stick around for a while. It's uh, also mandatory to beat the game. I remember the first time I played Mega Man was actually this game, Mega Man 1. And I spent all of three hours getting through the Robot Master levels, whereas now I can do it in 20 minutes, but back then it was fucking hard. See? Mega Beam kicks ass. But I remember I first played Mega Man, and after I finally got to Dr. Wily's castle... <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I got to the end part right before you fight the boss of Wily 1, and I had, didn't know where to go. I couldn't go anywhere. There was nowhere to go, and I was freaking out because I was just like, what the fuck do I do? And then I pushed the pause screen, and I noticed, like, it seemed like there was an empty space between the powers and my life count, and I was like, oh, fuck off. Is there another power? Is there another robot master I didn't know about? Then I looked up the magnet beam on the internet, and I was pretty pissed. Yeah, it's mandatory to beat the game, but it's not mandatory to pick up. You can miss it. So, bah. But anyway, folks, we're at Elect Man, easily the hardest robot master in the game. Unless you have his weakness, anyway. His weakness is the cut, the rolling cutter you get from Cut Man. It takes him down in three hits. His electric beam can kill you in three hits. It shaves off that much health. Trying to take him on with the Mega Buster is damn near suicide, because, you know... His Elect Beam is huge, it's, it takes up a, bit, a good chunk of the screen, it's hard to jump over, and it kills you in three hits, it's retarded. You hit him with the Mega Buster, and he has high defense, it's not like Cut Man, where you can take him out quickly. You shoot Elect Man, and it takes forever to bring him down. But I digress, he's dead, the Rolling Cutter made quick work of him. Ice Man, a robot created for work in a cold district. The Ice Slasher can freeze any object. A good point? He's a show-off. As I said in Wily Wars, I don't think that's a good point, but okay. <laughs> a bad point? He's self-centered. He likes snowball fights, and he dislikes sauna baths. Because they're really hot, and they could melt him, you see. <laughs> uh. Luckily, Iceman is a robot, so he doesn't get hot from that parka he's always wearing. That snow suit he's wearing. It's awkward when he rocks around the beach in that suit, though. People look at him funny. But then again, he's a robot, so I imagine people would look at him funny anyway. I don't know where I'm going with this. 
The point is, Iceman stage is actually, if you don't have the Magna Beam, the hardest level in the game. No bones about it. Honest to God, I hate this level if you don't have Magna Beam. In fact, I can't play this level without the Magna Beam. It's just that hard. The reason, and it's not even like the parts I'm doing now, clearly, because I'm not using the Magna Beam. Though I can use it now to skip the other reappearing, disappearing blocks, thank God. It's this part. They have platforms that you need to traverse through, but they don't go in a good order. Like, they're always moving at their own pace, going wherever the fuck they want, and sometimes it's really annoying. See how fast I dropped? <laughs> the gravity in uh, Mega Man is fucked up sometimes. But if you don't use the Magna Beam to just skip this whole platform crap, the platforms will shoot you off other platforms, you'll never make the jumps, you'll always be waiting, trying to bide your time, and you'll keep getting shot, and that part is so goddamn painful. Did I mention it's slippery? Because it's Iceman stage, all the floor is slippery and icy and goddamn hard? Fuck this level. <laughs> but I'm complaining for nothing, because again, I got Magna Beam, and Magna Beam makes this level bearable, so what the hell, I'm not... What am I complaining about? Here's the Elect Beam, it can shoot in three different directions, which is badass. I guess I haven't really explained all the abilities that much. I keep using them on the Robot Masters, but yeah. Elect Beam takes out Iceman in three hits. Iceman's Free Slasher can kill you in three hits as well, so... Luckily, the you can take him out pretty quickly, though. <laughs> Iceman is also the second hardest Robot Master, because, again, three hits to kill you, and, uh... Unless you're good at dodging that very simple strategy that he just... He shoots three ice blocks down, and then he shoots three ice uh, attacks up. And, you know, if you know what you're doing, I guess it's pretty easy, but... Uh, I don't know, I can never dodge it. It takes a lot of Mega Buster shots to bring him down, so I always t just fuck up my jump every now and then. I can't get the timing on going for a whole minute, you know? After a while, I start getting impatient, and I just go, oh fuck, I missed the jump, and oh fuck, Iceman, fuck you. But I have beaten Iceman with a Mega Buster only before, so, yeah. Never beat Elect Man with a Mega Buster, though. Fuck Elect Man. Anyway, folks, we're at the final Robot Master, <laughs> in part two, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm so used to being at, like, part nine, when we finally reach the Wily Castle, or Sigma's Castle, or whatever the hell the end game is. Fireman is a robot created for work in an incinerator. His main weapon is called Firestorm. A good point, he's hot blooded. And I'm hot blooded! I don't know the lyrics, but I'm gonna sing it anyway. Sorry. I'm really happy today, I don't know why. A bad point, he's hot tempered. He likes summer camp. What? Why is he. Creating campfires, roasting marshmallows for people? I don't know. <laughs> he dislikes rainy days. Well, I would too if I were a fire robot, so, you know. This level's treacherous. The lava is instant kill, so you don't want to fall into it. Another thing I haven't mentioned yet about classic original Mega Man 1 that wasn't present in Wily Wars Mega Man 1. Uh, even if you're invulnerable, like, when you get hit, you have a brief invulnerability period where you can walk through enemies and stuff, and that's pretty much standard in every video game ever. Well, most of them. And, uh, in Mega Man, if you get hit, and you're invulnerable, and then you fall on a spike while being invulnerable, you still die in one hit. Spikes are instant kill hits. They always have been in Mega Man, they always will be. But in classic Mega Man, even in invulnerability period, you got killed by spikes, which was pretty ridiculous. Luckily they changed that for future installments because they realized how goddamn annoying it was. Anyway folks, we're at Fireman. Fireman was an easy bastard in Wily Wars, but in the original, he's not so much. I've never found his pattern all that easy to dodge. He just keeps spawning them at random whenever the hell he wants, and it's very, very hard to dodge. Not to mention, every time a ring of fire passes under you, it creates fire on the ground. So you can't just jump up, you have to move and jump too, in order to avoid any damage at all. But he shoots them so frequently, he's not like they have a set time period. It's not like every five seconds he shoots it. It's like he just keeps sending them whenever the fuck he wants. But like I said, he's easy. <laughs> we'll take on Dr. Wily in part three.